Hi, this is Rebecca from Journal Tsunami and I just wanted to uh, show how I use these templates that I get. Uh, a question came up in one of the groups today about how to open the PowerPoint templates that you get so that you can start processing them. Now I'm on a Mac and uh, I normally use a PC but my PC kind of died so I happen to have a MacBook Pro so I've hooked it up. So some of the commands might be a little bit different than if you're on a PC, but really not that much. So here we are at Createful Journals, createfuljournals.com, and I just go to the store and I click on the store and it takes me to uh, the newest journals that she has available. And she has this beautiful cat journal that I want to start playing with. She has all kinds of great templates here and you can look through those. So I'm going to use the cat journal and it'll take you to your page. Now I'm logged in in my members area so it might look just a little bit different than yours. You won't have this black line until you've purchased something from her and then joined her website. But anyway you come down and then uh, you can look through all the different things, the layout that's there and you'll get these covers. Uh, she offers it in PowerPoint, PDF, and PSDs, and you also get a commercial use license, and so that is absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to click and purchase it, and uh, right now I will mute as I go through my purchase process, So, because it's not important for you to see my purchase process, so hang on just a sec. Okay, and once you've purchased, you'll come to your thank you for signing up page and you'll see that you purchased that. Then you just enjoy your membership. Click here to access your members area and you'll go to your members area to see the other journals that you've purchased from her. You'll just click on the active resources and you'll be able to download your journal here. Once you click the download your journal, uh, it'll start downloading to your computer. So we'll just come back once it has uh, downloaded. Just a couple more minutes. Okay, so it is um, now in my folder. You you can see that it uh, once you, it's downloaded, you just click on that and view in folder. And let me set this so you can see it better. I have a zip utility which most modern computers come with. You can use 7-zip or anything else but most newer computers from Windows 8 on up or even Windows 7, even Windows XP uh, and all Mac computers come with a zip utility. So I just double click on that and it will open the file and download it. And let's set kind and so now I have my folder with my cat journal inside. You can make and inspect all the different tools that you have. She has some other information that you can um, open up. Here's the covers. Again, I will set it in Mac so that I have the folders there. So here's the covers. And this is the PSD so you can make alterations to the cover. And then here's the journal itself. Now, this is the PowerPoint. All you have to do is obviously you need to have PowerPoint installed on your computer and then you just double click on it and let's see it has some let's see it has some fonts so I need to get the fonts first. Hang on let me just double check. Uh, let me open read only that way I can we can take a look at it anyway. Um, and it's possible that the fonts are in one of the documents that she has uh, included. But let's just take a look at this. And for me to move from being read only, I just need to go up and do a save as and then save the file. You always want to save the file before you start editing it and I can look at the whole file by going down to these four boxes right down here and I can look at all the pages in the layout. The nice thing about this is I can uh, change them around. Oh, I'm in read only so 
I can't do that. But I can move these pages. She has them so there's a tabby, a Siamese, and a tabby. And so I can move these so that they're different um, different layouts. I can add other pages in as I want to. And the other nice thing is I can also turn this into a black and white journal. So hang on just a second. Okay, actually this is really a good thing to see. I went back and I uh, re-clicked on this. Uh, what's going on is that there is a font here and it's called Amanda. Uh, and I don't have that font on my computer. And I know that Sue uses uh, free fonts uh, and commercial use fonts. So what I did is I went to Google and I typed in uh, the Amanda font and it showed me that I could get the font free uh, from this particular website called fontbundles.net. All you have to do is uh, log in with a Facebook account. Uh, they'll give you login instructions. And then I can download and install this font for free. So let me go ahead and do that. Installing fonts on your computer is super easy. You normally get a, a zip folder that has the font in it. Uh, you just unzip it as you would uh, any zip folder and then you have access. You normally have an OTF and a TTF. Uh, I usually go with OTF. Um, you'll have to look up the difference because I really don't know what the difference is between the OTF and TTF. I'm just not sophisticated enough to really know. Um, so I just basically will add that. I open with my uh, again, I'm on a Mac. Normally you would just double click on a PC and it will install the font directly to your computer. You want to install the font before you open the PowerPoint uh, because the PowerPoint won't see the font if the PowerPoint's already open um, before you install the font. So just install the font first if you end up having this issue where you don't have the font installed. So let's go back to opening our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so now we can just, now that we've installed the font, we just click on the presentation. And this was the uh, journal, the font that was giving us issues right there. Uh, so what I want to do before I do anything to this, I mean, I can take a look at it. I can go down here and look at the layout and kind of get an idea of what I might want to change and move around. And also, if I'm going to put this on Create Space, I'm going to need to turn this into a black and white uh, interior because color on Create Space is very expensive. Now, you certainly can put this up as a color book, uh, but you probably will have to charge uh, about $20 for it. And I don't often see that it is well worth that expense for people to buy a journal of just lines. So I would rather just change it to black and white. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and just save this as. And I am going to just say, uh, let's see. I'll just put it as mine for right now, just to differentiate it from the one that I got before I make any changes. Now the difference with using a Mac and a PC is when I save my images as a uh, 300 uh, DPI, uh, on a Mac I have to go up to File and it says Compress Pictures, and then I have to do this HD 330 PPI and go OK and then it will save everything in here to make sure that when I export it it's at that higher resolution. In a PC you would also go up to uh, file and then options would be on that page and then you click on options and then advanced and then uh, under advanced uh, you would be able to change that. I don't have a PC so I can't unfortunately show you those steps. Um, but it's it's actually pretty straightforward once you get to that advanced tab. Anyway, so I'm going to save this as a black and white uh, 
image. Hang on just a sec. When you want to change an image to black and white, you're going to go to that image and you're going to click on it and then the file format will come up. You'll notice when it's not clicked, file format goes away. So you do need to click on it for that submenu routine to show up in PowerPoint. And then I can go to artistic or I go to color and then I can just take a look at one of these different ones here. I believe this is the black and white one there. There we go. And there's a couple you can play with. Um, there's different versions of black and white. You can also uh, change it to more of a grayscale. But uh, we just want to use your basic black and white. And then I'll go through and I will click on the images and I will change them to black and white. There you go. And it's just that simple. Uh, I don't think there's a bulk function for changing them to black and white. A lot of times what I will do is when I get a journal, some journals the person will make them in black and white for you so it makes it super simple that way. I will also look to see what pages are the same and then I'll just go and I'll delete all these other pages and take the pages that are uh, throughout the journal and just change them to black and white. We can see that this page and this page are the same so I can actually delete many of these pages and then resort the journal to be exactly what I would like it to be. So I hope that's helped you. Uh, again in my course in Journal Tsunami I do show you uh, some different shortcuts and how to lay out journals and I'll be adding more training over the course of time. So this is just a free peek in how to use templates that you get from a uh, template website. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks again. Bye-bye.